Hello YouTube. Today I am going to show you how to make a Molex cable, 4 pin Molex cable using a data cable and 9 plus 3 volts batteries. So for doing this we are going to need an USB data cable. You might get it from your data cable of any printer or your modem etc. Then you need two AA batteries, 1.5 volts each. We may give it give 3 volts batteries. Uh, this is one 9 volt battery, a 4 pin Molex cable of course, you can cut it off from your any PSU, dead PSU, anything else. And you are always going to need this drive. This is one LG drive. Okay. For getting start, we need this data cable. We are going to join this data cable with these two batteries. Okay. For doing this, take this cable, red cable, and join it with the red cable of the Molex 4 pin thing. Okay. Now, join the black with the USB's black cable. Uh, yeah, it's getting a huge mess here. Okay. We have to make a series connection for this both batteries so that their power can combine. For doing this, we are going to need wires connected to the top of these batteries. A series connection can be made with the battery's positive and the negative connection. Now you are left with two black and red thing. Now connect the yellow Molex cables wire to your black wire. No. Connect the positive one to your yellow Molex cable and the negative one with the negative thing okay now it's created and we are going to connect our USB to my traveler charger because I don't have a computer here that's why I'm using this charger because it gives out the because it gives out 5 volt of current for this USB you can put it in your computer's USB port also. Okay. Now we are going to connect the 4 pin Molex cable into the drive's power unit. Okay. Just give me some time to settle these things because it has gone very, very messy. connected see it's not connected with the SMPS but but I'm going to inject the tray of this LG DVD drive just see came out it went in came out and it went in so you are going to need this when you're going to uh, Flash your Xbox 360 when we need the 
where we need to power cycle the drive several times. At that at that point of time, the Xbox is not capable of switching off as fast as will this one. Okay, thank you guys, and please subscribe.